Good morning, welcome, welcome back at Aura 7 Yoga here at, on Instagram at Aura 7 Active My name is Francesca, I'm gonna be your guide for a nice little 60 minute uh, little yoga flow, full body flow. So get your props ready, get some blocks, some straps, and then we're gonna get going. We're gonna start onto our mats. We're gonna start today on our backs. Come to your mats. Bend your knees, soles of the feet down onto the mat and slowly start to roll back down onto the earth. Bring your feet all the way mat distance apart, but keep your feet parallel. And then bring your inner knees together, so knock them together. Give it a nice little ease for your lower back. Then turn the palms up towards the ceiling. Adjust the shoulder blades onto your back. Tuck the chin to the chest. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Soften the muscles around the face. Soften your teeth. Relax your hips. Relax your belly. Relax your shoulders. Take a moment to scan your body from the toes to the crown of the head. All the way through one inch at a time until you feel the whole body. Shift the focus to the breath. Slow, steady inhale through the nose. Slow, steady exhale through the nose. Gently bring your eyes open. Separate your knees and then drop the knees all the way to the left. Your right arm comes into a goal post in the cactus position and bring your gaze over the right shoulder. You can deepen this posture by placing the left ankle on top of the right knee and then pull the right knee further down to the mat. Then come back to center, place the feet down onto the mat. We both are mad distance apart as you drop the knees all the way to the right. Bring your left elbow out into a goal post. Gaze over the left shoulder. Keep your eyes closed or gently keeping the eyes open. Maybe placing the right ankle on top of the left knee to pull the left knee down. Feeling a deeper stretch, the left side lower back. Come back to center. Pull the knees to your chest. Give yourself a gentle squeeze. Tuck the chin to the chest. And grab onto your knees. Draw some circles inward, out, maybe to different directions. Just getting some fluid into the hip joint, feeling the lower back opening up. And then coming to a happy baby, reach from the inside of the knees to the outer arches of the feet. If this seems to be a little too much right now, then you can also grab behind the knees to pull the knees into the shoulder socket. Lengthen through the back of the neck, tuck the chin to the chest, and stack the ankles on top of the knees. Slow, deep inhale, and exhale. Release the sole of the left foot down to the mat, keep a nice soft bend to the, into the right knee, tuck the chin to the chest, and gently pull the right shin closer to the face. Make this pose a little more intense by reaching the left heel forward, pressing the back of the left heel down to the mat, pressing the back of the left knee down to the mat. Then gently, with each and every exhale, soften the right shin bone closer to the face. Place your left hand on top of the left hip, grab onto the inside of the right shin, flexing the right foot, slowly start to bring the right heel out to the side. It doesn't have to go too deep, just gently guiding it out to the side, Keep flexing the right foot towards the right knee and then come back to center. Bend your right knee and then slowly bring it out to the left side as you goal pose the right arm. And maybe even start to straighten out through the right leg and feel a deeper stretch in your IT bend. And come back to center. 
Sole of the right foot comes down to the mat, lift up the left leg, soft bend into the left knee, flex your left foot and gently inhale, lengthen through the back of the left leg and exhale, soften the left leg closer to the chest. And slowly to intensify the pose, reach your right heel forward, flex the right foot, push the back of the right knee down to the mat. Inhale and exhale, pull the shin just a little closer to your face. Good job. Place your right hand onto your right hip, anchor the right hip down, then grab the inside of the left shin, and then slowly start to guide the left leg out to the side, but really push with the right palm, the right hip down to the mat. So you're anchoring down to the right hip. You're not opening up through the right hip joint. Good, then come back to center, bend your left knee, guide the left leg out to the right side, go, go pose the left arm as you gaze over the left shoulder. And then maybe start to extend the left leg out to the side to feel that IT bend stretch here. And come back to center. Hug the knees to your chest. Grab behind the knees. Rock and roll back and forth onto your mat two to three times. Massage now the whole spine. And cross the ankles and make your way into a tabletop position. Come into all fours. Bring the palms underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. Long spine, long neck. Inhale. Draw the belly, lift the gaze. Exhale, round, tuck the chin to the chest. Push the earth away. Again, inhale, lift up. And exhale, round. And then come into a modified side plank. Keep the right palm down. Turn the right foot out to the side. And step the left leg back. So your left heel, right knee, right wrist is in one line. Lift the left arm high to the sky. Pull the belly in and create that nice long energy line from the crown of the head all the way to the left heel. Deep, slow inhale, engage the left outer hip, lift up from your right shoulder and slowly float the left foot up and away from the mat. Slow, deep inhale, reach the top arm forward, bring the bicep to the ear and lengthen all, all the way through the entire left side body. Deep, slow inhale, exhale, pull the elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, slowly come back to extension, feel how your core is nicely engaged. Exhale again, elbow and knee to touch, lifting up from the right shoulder. Inhale, come back to your extension, bend your back leg, reach back for your foot or ankle, kick into your palm, push the belly forward, roll the left shoulder back, and lift up from the right shoulder, and then come on back. Release the left foot down to the mat, rise up into gate pose, reach the right arm up and over, find that stretch to the right side of your body. Come back to center, hands come down to the mat. Back into tabletop position, all fours. Go through another cat and cow. Lift the gaze, drop the belly, lift the tailbone. Exhale, round gaze back to your navel. Come back into a neutral tabletop position. Turn the left foot out. Modified side plank. Right foot steps back. Right heel, left knee, left wrist in one line. Reach the right arm up to the sky. Lift up from your left shoulder. Reach the energy up to the ceiling. Now engage your right outer hip and slowly start to float the right leg up and away from the mat. Flex the right foot, then reach your right arm, the top arm forward, bicep to the ear, palm facing down. Keep lifting up from the left shoulder. Find that nice long energy line. Deep inhale and hold it here. One more deep inhale. Now exhale, pull the elbow and knee to touch in front of you. Inhale, slowly with control. Come back to your extension. Pull the belly in. Exhale again. Elbow and knee to touch. Inhale, slowly reach back. Then bend your top leg, reach back for your foot or ankle, like a chopasana variation. Lift off your own bottom, lift up, lift out from your bottom shoulder. Kick into your right palm and roll the right shoulder back. Slowly extend the right leg back. Release it down to the mat. Turn on your obliques, your core, and rise up. Gate pose. Press the outer arch of the right foot down. Right arm down, left arm up and over. Lengthen out from the left side wrist. Exhale, mid middle hands down to the mat, come back, tabletop position. Holding a tabletop, keep the hips over the knees, start to walk your hands forward for your puppy pose. Bring the forehead down, drop the chest down to the mat, roll the tricep muscles down as you spin the biceps to the ceiling. Keep the forehead down to the mat, or maybe lift up the gaze, gaze towards the fingers as you place the chin onto the mat. Walk your hands slowly back and make your way into a down dog. Tuck your toes under, lift your hips high. 
Find your first down dog. Start to paddle at your feet. Bend the right knee, release the left heel down. Then bend your left knee, release the right heel down. And find stillness in your down dog. Root down through all ten knuckles. Lift the energy up, up and out from the wrist joint. Roll the triceps down. Spin the biceps to the ceiling. Lengthen through the neck. Pull the belly button into the spine. Hug the ribs towards each other. So find a long, beautiful, long spine here. And then soften your knees as much as you need. Softly releasing the heels down towards the earth. Then walk your hands just a little closer to your feet. Shorten your down dog. Keeping the palm shoulder distance apart. Root down to the left palm and reach your right hand to the outside of the left leg. Keep rolling the left tricep down towards the earth as you pull the belly closer to the thighs, bending the right elbow. Release, right palm comes down. Reach your left hand to the outside of the right leg. Bending the left elbow, pulling the upper body closer to your lower body. Wrapping the right tricep down to the mat, spinning the right bicep up to the ceiling, staying strong in the right hand. Come back to center, downward facing dog. And slowly walk your hands all the way back to your feet. Find your ragdoll Uttanasana. Let the crown of the head to come down to the earth. Shifting the body weight more into your toe mounts. Softening the knees, swing the body to left, to right. Bring the hands behind your lower back, interlock the hands, press the palms together, squeeze the shoulder blades, lift the fist to the ceiling. Release the hands down to the mat. Keep your feet hip distance apart, slide your palms up onto the shin bone and reach the crown of the head forward, create a flat spine. Find a hint of a back bend here. Lengthen through the back of the neck. So all four corners of the neck reaching forward. The crown of the head is reaching forward. Now keep all this length we just created. And exhale, fold forward. Find a deeper forward fold with an asana. Place your hands onto your hips. And one word away at a time, roll all the way up into a standing position. Let the head to come up last. Roll the shoulders back, bring the arms by your side. Your feet are still hip distance apart. Inhale, lift up the arms, Urdhva Hastasana. Tuck the tailbone under, root down to the big toe man, stinky toe man, center of the heels. Tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly and reach the energy up to the ceiling. And exhale, hinge from the hips, fold all the way forward. Again, inhale, lift up your chest. Find a hint of a back bend as you squeeze the shoulder blades. Your hands can be onto the shins, down onto the mat. And exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Place your hands onto your hips. One word or at a time, roll all the way up into a standing position. Inhale, the arms to the ceiling, Urdhva Hastasana. Feel the lengthening sensation throughout the whole body as you root down through the feet, reach the energy to the fingers. Exhale, fold forward, hinging from the hips, coming all the way down. One more round, inhale, lift up the chest, find a halfway lift, really reach with the crown forward with the sit bones back. Exhale, fold the mat all the way down. Place your hands onto your hips and one word or at a time, roll all the way up into a standing position. Inhale, the arms to the sky, energize through the legs, energize through the fingers, lift up, rise up. Exhale, fold forward, hinge from the hips, come on all the way down. Inhale, go up to a half way lift. This time you're going to walk out into a high plank position, top of a push up. Bring the shoulders over the wrists, spread the fingers, root down to all ten knuckles. Reach the sternum, the middle of the chest for, forward as you wrap the triceps back. Lift up the kneecaps, engage the thighs. Pull the belly in, feel that nice long energy line from the heels to the crown of the head. Hold it here or shift the body weight to the right palm, pick up the left palm, bring it to your side and just hold. Lift up from the right shoulder, try not to sink into that right shoulder. Release the left palm down, pick up the right palm. Lift up from the left shoulder, pull the belly in, try not to twist too much in your hips. Release the right palm down and hold it here or pick up the right foot, point the right toes back without twisting in your hips. Release the right foot down, pick up the left foot, point the left toes back without twisting in your hips. And slowly release the left foot down to the mat. Bring your feet together, roll to the outer arch of the right foot, lift the left arm high to the sky. Side plank, Vashisthasana. Flex your feet, activate to the legs. Lift up from the bottom shoulder, lift the left fingertips up to the sky. Come back to center slowly, hold it there, or maybe it had a chaturanga push up. Press back into high plank, feet together, roll to the outer edge of the left foot. 
reach the right arm to the sky. Lift up from the left shoulder, lift up from the right, left wrist joint, flexing the feet, activating the legs, and keeping the right hip on top of the left hip. Come back to center, add an optional chaturanga push up. Push it back, high plank, downward facing dog hips high to the sky. Slow, deep inhale through your nose. Exhale, let it out. Inhale, inch forward back into the high plank pose and slowly come on all the way down onto your belly. Cobra Bhujangasana, press down to the tops of your feet and peel your chest away from the mat. Squeeze the shoulder blades together, keep the neck long. Little to no weight in the palms. Activate the glutes, activate the muscles in your lower back. Exhale, come on for, forehead down onto the mat. Bring your arms by your side, turn the palms out. Activate the legs, inhale, lift up the chest, lift up the shoulders, lift up your feet away from the mat, keeping your legs straight, spinning the inner thigh slightly up to the ceiling. Pick up the fingers and reach the fingers towards the heels, but gaze down at your mat so the neck stays nice and long. Interlock the hands behind your back, lift the fist away from the glutes, squeeze the shoulder blades. Engage the tricep and bicep muscles. Gaze down deep in here. Exhale, come on back down to the mat, forehead down onto the earth. Place your hands next to your floating ribs. Stack the elbow on top of the wrists. Squeeze the shoulder blades. Feet are hip distance apart, glutes are engaged. Slowly start to press into your palms. Lift up the chest. Then press into the tops of your feet. Lift up the thighs and the knees away from the mat. Upward facing dog. And exhale. Downward facing dog. So upward facing dog is a very intense pose. If you have any lower back sensitivity, that could be a little too much. So feel free throughout your vinyasa to replace your up dog with a cobra pose. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Bring your feet together. Inhale, come into a halfway lift, Ardha Uttanasana. You can soften the knees, but try to straighten the spine as much as you can. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Inhale, chair pose, Utkatasana. Bend the knees, lift up the arms, sit down deep into your chair pose. Gaze down, peek down, and make sure that the toes are hanging over the knee line. Tuck the tailbone under, squeeze the outer hips. Imagine that you have a block in between the inner thighs. You're actively squeezing the block in between the inner thighs. You're turning on not just the outer hip muscles, but with that, you're turning on the lower belly muscles by pulling the belly button into the spine. Now soften the shoulders away from the ears. And if you feel like you're really tight in your upper trap shoulder area, then just open the arms a little wider, but soften the inner shoulders away from the ears. Deep, slow inhale, stay deep in your chair, just fly the arms back behind you. Drop the thighs a little deeper, straighten out through the arms. Feel the energy in the fingertips, like you're shooting energy back through the fingertips. Inhale, lift up the arms. One more time, exhale, fly the arms back behind you, turn the palms down. This time, interlock the hands behind your back. Lengthen through the neck, squeeze the shoulder blades. Deep inhale, exhale, fold forward, bring the forehead down, but keep the bind. Hold it here. Lengthen through the back of the neck. Lift the fist higher to the ceiling. Then release the hands down to the mat. Walk your feet out all the way into Malasana, toes out, heels in. Your toes can hang off of the mat and bring the hands to your heart center. So if this is a really difficult pose for you, I recommend a couple things. One, I noticed a couple times that a lot of people, they can't sit down, the heels are too close together. So try to walk the heels a little farther away from each other, you have more room. But if it's still not happening, your hips not dropping down, you can grab a block and sit on the block. Bring the hands to the heart center, that's a really great pose for you. All right, so pick one, whatever is appropriate for you. Hands at your heart center, gently tucking the chin to the chest. Again, lengthening through the, through the cervical spine. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. Good release. Hands down to the mat. Lift up the hips. Toe heel your feet together all the way to touch. Big toes to touch, heels to touch. Inhale, come into a half feeling. And exhale, fold forward. Chair pose, Utkatasana. Again, lift up the arms. Then slowly rise up into a one-legged Tadasana. Lift the left leg up. Pull the belly in, and exhale, fly the left leg back behind you, keeping the right leg forward. Airplane wings. Turn the palms down, turn the left pinky down to the mat, soften the right knee if you need that. Then soften the right leg and step back into warrior one. Inhale, lift up the arms, warrior one. Place your hands onto your hips, pull the right hip back, turn the left hip forward. Root down through the back foot, 
Feel how the outer arch of the left foot is pressing down to the mat actively. You're lifting the left inner knee away from the mat, keeping the back left leg as strong as you can. In the same time, working to turn that left hip forward, pulling the right hip back. Lift up from your lower back, pulling the belly into the spine, squeezing the ribs towards each other, then adding the arms. Turn the palms towards each other. Maybe the pinky is slightly in. Softening the shoulders away from the ears. Deep inhale as you lengthen. Exhale, keep the back leg strong. Bend your right knee a little bit more. And bring the arms by your side. Fly your arms back as you reach the chest forward. Now actively pull the right hip back and reach the left hip forward. Keep the left knee lifted. Activate through the back leg. Then spin the back heel up. Lean more forward and step back up into your warrior three. Lift up the back leg, flex the left foot, point the left pinky toe down to the mat. Deep inhale, hands down to the mat, come on into a standing split, lift the left leg high to the sky. Walk the hands a little closer to your right foot. Maybe grab your right ankle or wrap the right forearm behind the right calf and pull the forehead down to your shin. Deep, slow inhale. Exhale forward, fold at the top of the mat, feet together. Let the crown of the head to melt down to the earth. Inhale, lift up the chest. And exhale, fold forward. Chair pose with katasana, lift up the arms. Sit down deep into your chair pose. Drop the thigh bones deeper, pull the belly in. And push into the heels, come on into a one legged tadasana. Lift the right leg up. Flex the right foot, root down to the left heel. Pull the belly in, grow long through the spine. As you exhale, fly back. Reach your right leg back. Bring the arms by your side, turn the palms down. Soften your standing leg if you need that. Turn the right pinky toe down to the earth. Lengthen out from the lower back. Deep inhale, gazing down, lengthening through the neck as well. Exhale, bend your left knee a little bit more and step back into warrior one. Seal the right heel down to the mat and inhale the arms to the sky. Bring your hands onto your hips to adjust your hips here. So as you keep your back foot rooting down to the mat, Keep your right leg strong and straight, lifting the right inner knee away from the mat. You're going to intensely work your right hip forward and pull the left hip back into its socket. But keep the connection with the back leg the whole time. And pull the belly in, lift up from your lower back, engage the core, pulling the ribs towards each other, and then add the arms. Reach it to the ceiling. Inhale, feel the connection with the back foot, the back leg. And exhale, keeping the back leg strong, rotating the right hip forward. Slowly bend the left leg a little bit more. Deep inhale. And exhale. Now bring the arms by your side. Lean forward, root down through the back heel. Reach the chest forward. Pull the left hip back. Make your right leg strong and straight. And slowly start to spin your back heel up. So all ten toes are facing forward. Shift the body a bit forward into the left leg and step up into airplane wings. Warrior three variation. Turn the right pinky toe down to the mat. Pull the belly in, lengthen through the spine, reach forward, gaze down. Deep inhale. Exhale, hands down to the mat, standing split, right leg high, left leg down. Walk your hands a little closer to your left foot. Maybe grab onto your left ankle and maybe wrap the left forearm behind the left calf. Deep, slow inhale, and exhale. Forward fold at the top of the mat. And the crown of the head to draw down towards the earth. Separate the feet hip distance apart. Grab onto your big toes with the index finger and middle finger. Reach the chest forward as you inhale, create a flat spine. Exhale, bend the elbows. Bring the belly onto the thighs and bring the forehead in between the shins. Now push the elbows out to the side and start to lift the shoulder blades away from the ears. Deep inhale. Go a little deeper, maybe shifting the body a little closer into the toe mounds. Maybe straighten it out through the legs a little more, but keep the strength in the upper body, separating the vertebrae from each other, lengthening through the whole spine. Release. Come back into Malasana, maybe using the block, or come into a little crow pose or crow prep. Plant the palms down into the mat, shoulder distance apart, lift up the hips, place the knees onto the tricep, lean forward and maybe pick up your toes. If your toes are lifted away from the mat, maybe bring the big toes to touch. Round through the upper spine, pull the belly in, focus on the breath. Wherever you are, three more breaths, we're going to make our way back into downward facing dog. From your crow, you can practice your chaturanga jump back. 
with a back shoot, legs back, low chaturanga, inhale up dog, and exhale back to downward facing dog. Inhale your right leg high to the sky, this time point the right toe, lift it nice and high, find the down dog split, exhale, pull the right knee to the right tricep, and then slowly release it down to the right wrist, and back into the tricep, down to the wrist, back to the tricep, down to the wrist, and back to the tricep, one more, down to the wrist, back to the tricep, inhale your right leg high to the sky, down dog split, exhale, Bring the knee to your nose, round to the spine, gaze back to your navel, lift the right knee higher, gaze forward, step the right leg all the way forward to a low lunge. Spin the back here down, warrior one, inhale, lift up the arm, strong warrior one. Hold the belly in, hold the right hip back, left hip forward, inhale, sit down deeper, exhale. One more inhale, exhale, open to the side, warrior two. Open up the feet nice and wide, turn the right knee forward, right foot forward, turn the back toes in. Lift up the fingers all the way, shoulder height. And then notice what your upper body is doing, attempt to lean forward in a warrior two. Bring your upper body right back to the center line, so the sit bones are directly underneath the brain. Pull the belly in, get the big curve out of your lower back, lift up from the lower spine, but keep hugging the right hip in as you soften the right inner thigh forward. Deep, slow inhale, and exhale. Then straighten out with the right leg, come on into triangle trikonasana, reach the right arm forward, right arm down, left arm high. Stacking the left shoulder on top of the right. So if you feel like your left shoulder is folding forward or falling forward, you cannot stack into the top on top of the right, then maybe come up a little higher and see if you can stack it. And then throughout the next couple breaths, see if you can lower the right fingertips down, if that's appropriate for you. Or maybe bringing the right fingertips down to the outside of the right ankle, maybe on the block, or all the way down to the mat. Deep inhale, hold it here, exhale. Internally rotate the top arm, turn the thumb towards the back of the mat, bend your elbow and reach back behind your back. Roll the left shoulder to the ceiling. Then lift the left arm back to the sky, push into the center of the right foot and slowly rise up all the way. Reverse your triangle, reach, the, reach it all the way back, lengthen out from the right side body. Come on back into your warrior two, stepping up into Ardha Chandrasana half moon pose. Place your fingers a foot in front of the right pinky toe or maybe grab a block and place your hands onto the block. Now place your left hand onto your left hip. Lean to your right foot, right fingers, keeping the left outer hip engaged, flexing the left foot, lift the left leg up and away from the mat. Then lift the left heel a little higher than your left hip. Reach the left arm to the sky if you want, or keep the left hand onto your left hip if that feels better. Feel your neck, make your neck be part of this whole pose. And if you want, you can bend your top leg, come on into a trapasana, just as we did already in a different posture at the beginning of class. Grab it onto your left ankle, gently start to kick into your left palm. Feel that opening in the frontal left hip bone. If you have the back leg, slowly release. Soften your right leg, step back into warrior two. Reverse your warrior, keep the right knee bent. And exhale, bend the other hands down to the mat, go through your vinyasa. Inhale your left leg high to the sky, point the toe, lift it nice and high, down dog split. Exhale, bring the left knee to the left tricep. Now slide it down to the left wrist and pull it back as you exhale to the tricep. Inhale, slide. Exhale, pull. Inhale, slide. Exhale, pull. Inhale, slide. Exhale, pull one more. Inhale, slide down. Exhale, pull it up. Inhale, your left leg high to the sky. Down, left split. Exhale, pull the knee to your nose, round through the spine. Lift the left knee a little higher, the left shin a little higher. Gaze forward, step before forward, low lunge. 
Set up the back foot warrior one, the other back here, down, inhale. Come on into that strong warrior one. Pull the left hip back, right hip forward, deep inhale. And exhale. Again, deep inhale. And exhale. Take a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, open to the side. Warrior two, adjust the feet, make a stand maybe a little wider. Point the left toes forward. Send the left knee forward towards that second tonia. So turn on the left outer hip muscles and soften the left inner knee forward. But in the same time, keep your right leg, your back leg strong and straight and feel where your upper body is. Bring it right to the center line. Gaze gently over the left fingers. With each inhale, work on the long spine. And with each exhale, work on dropping the left thigh bone deeper. Tuck the tailbone under, lengthen out from the lower back. Straighten out through the left leg, triangle trikonasana. Pull the left thigh into its socket, reach the left arm forward as far as you can. Release the left arm down, right arm high. Feel how your back is against the wall. You stack in the right shoulder on top of the left. And instead of placing too much pressure onto the left shin with the left palm, see if you can use the right fingertips to lift the energy up to the ceiling. So you're just gently touching the left ankle, left shin with the left hand. Then internally rotate the top arm, turn the right thumb towards the back of the mat. Bend your elbow and reach back behind your back for a half bind. Roll the right shoulder up. Keep the left fingertips light onto the left ankle, left shin. Reach your right arm high to the sky. Rise up, press into the pinky toe and big toe mount onto the left foot as you lift up. Reverse your triangle, keeping both legs straight. Lifting up from the left sideways this time. And come back into warrior two. Lift. Bend your left knee again. We stepping up into Arjunjasana. Place your left fingertips a foot in front of the left pinky toe. Maybe use a block. Place your right hand onto your right hip. Step the right foot in. Lead into your left fingers, left foot. Engage your right outer hip as you lift the right foot up and away from the mat. Bring the right heel just a little higher than the right hip. Flexing the right foot, keeping the energy in the right foot. Lift the right arm high to the sky. Again, think about your neck. Make your neck the part of the spine. You can gaze down or gaze up, challenging your balance. And you can also bend your top leg and reach back for your foot or ankle for your chapasana. If you have the back foot, kick into it. Feel that opening. If you have the foot, slowly release with control. Soften the left leg. Step back. Warrior two, as slow and soft as you can. And reverse your warrior, reach it all the way back, keeping the front knee bent. And exhale, remove the hands down to the mat. Go through your vinyasa, high to low plank. Up dog, and back, downward facing up. Slow, steady breath in and out through the nose. Reconnect with yourself. Reconnect to your breath. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, step or hop to the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up your heart. And exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees, chair pose, Utkatasana, lift up the arms. Bring your hands to your heart center, drop the thighs deep. Hook the left elbow to the outside of the right knee. Twist. Place your right hand onto your lower back sacrum. Lift up from your lower back sacrum. Make the spine nice and long without twisting in your hips. We tend to lift the right hip a little higher in this pose. See if you can level the hips out. Keeping the knees in one line, join the palms together. Maybe drop the thighs a little deeper. Each inhale, find more length through the spine. Each exhale, soften the belly and twist. Gaze down onto your mat, gaze down onto your right big toe, and start to pick up your left foot as you shift the body weight to the right foot. Like a little flamingo squeezing the knees together. Slowly send the left leg back. Come into a twist, in a lunge. Left heel points back, right hip hugs back into the center line. And twist. And 
bring the hands down to the mat. Step the back foot in for your pyramid pose and start to straighten out to the right leg. Bring the forehead down to your right knee. Bring your hands onto your hips. That strong core, start to rise up all the way. Now lift the left arm high to the sky. Pull the right hip back. Keep the right hand onto your right hip. Lean forward. Reach your left arm forward. Nice long spine. Pause halfway. Pull the right hip back. Then exhale. Twist the triangle. Left hand down. Right arm high to the sky. So if you would like, you can grab a block. Place the left palm onto the block. Then reach the right arm to the sky. Your right fingers are the extension of the right shoulder. Try not to toss the right arm behind your back. Instead, engage your right tricep and use that energy to twist your chest a little deeper. Then gaze down onto your mat. I'm going to step up into twisted half moon. Bring the left palm underneath the left shoulder, block or no block. Start to lift the left leg up and away from the mat. Again, place your right hand onto your lower back sacrum. Point the left pinky toe down to the mat. And then if you want, you can add the right arm up to the ceiling. So with each inhale, again, find length. Your length is the most important part of the posture. And then keeping the length, exhale, twist in your torso, twist in your belly. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. One more time, deep, slow inhale. Exhale, forward fold at the top of the mat. Separate your feet, hip distance apart. Let the crown of the head to melt down to the earth. And start to slide your hands underneath your feet. You're stepping onto your palms. Your toes are touching your wrist crease. Soften the knees. Inhale, lift up the chest. Exhale, melt, fold all the way down. And get slowly release. Toe heel your feet together. Big toes to touch, heels to touch. Bend your knees. Chair pose of Kadasana. Lift up the arms, drop the thighs deep, hands at your heart center, then twist. Hold the right elbow to the outside of the left knee. Place your left hand onto your lower back sacrum, lengthen out from your lower back, pull the belly in. Gaze down onto your knees, making sure both knees are still in one line. Drop the thigh bone sacrum, lengthen out from the back, join the palms together. Deep inhale as you lengthen. Exhale as you soften the belly and twist. And gaze down to your left big toe. Shift the body weight to the left foot, pick up your right foot, and then slowly, mindfully send it back, come into a lunge, stay in your twist, and if you lost the twist, just fix it again. Point the right heel back behind you, hug the left hip back into the center line, lift up the right kneecap, that's your back foot, back knee. Deep inhale as you lengthen, deep exhale as you twist. And bring the fingertips down to the mat. Step the back foot in. Seal your back here down. Pyramid pose. And slowly as you straighten out to the legs, start to bring your forehead down to your left shin, left knee. And of course, you can always keep a micro bend into the left knee or a deep bend into the left knee as much as you need. Keep your hips leveled. Good job. Now, place your hands onto your hips with a strong core. Press into the feet. Rise up. Keep your left hand onto your left hip, reach the right arm high to the sky, pull the left hip back, start to reach forward, hinge from the hips, reach your right arm forward, pause halfway, lengthen through the spine, then exhale, place the fingertips or a block, possibly to the outside of the left foot, but if it doesn't feel comfortable to place it to the outside of the left foot, place it to the inside, all right? So keep your left hand onto your lower back sacrum, again, to fix that situation. So you're not twisting in your hips, you're keeping the belly strong, you lengthen it out from your lower back, then you add the left arm. Your left arm, your left fingers are the extension of the left shoulder. You engage the left tricep muscle, so inhale, lengthen, and exhale, turning on the tricep, twisting your torso. Inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist. Good, then gaze down onto your mat. We're gonna step up into half, uh, twisted half moon pose. Place the block or the fingertips right underneath your right shoulder. Shift the body weight to the left foot. Lift up the right leg. Now find that warrior three position here first as you point the right toes, right pinky toe, especially down to the mat. Lengthen out from your lower back. Place the left hand onto your lower back sacrum. Then start to twist in your belly. 
So inhale, strong core, reach the energy forward, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, soften the belly and twist a little more, maybe add the left arm. Deep inhale, and exhale. Again, deep inhale, and exhale. Release the hands down to the mat, come back into your forward fold. And slowly, one word or bit at a time, roll all the way up into a standing position. Okay, then separate your feet all the way mad distance apart. Step up to the side. Make your feet parallel, maybe slightly pigeon toe. Bring your hands onto your lower back. Place your thumbs onto your sacrum. Your fingers, the other four total, eight fingers onto your hips. Then start to feel the connection with your feet. Root down to the big toe mounds, the pinky toe mound. Root down to the center of the heels. Now shift the body weight enough forward so your hip line and the heel line is one line. Meaning, you're not tossing the booty back behind you as you go forward. You're keeping the heel and the hips in one line. So with a strong core, thumb onto your sacrum, squeeze the shoulder blades, start to lean forward. Keep the neck nice and long. Reach the crown of the head forward, sit bones back. Pull the belly in, deep inhale. And exhale, slowly start to go forward even more. Bring the crown of the head down towards the mat, but keep the engagement on the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Lift up the chest just halfway, then reach the arms out to the side. So here too, instead of pushing the booty back, can you push it more forward and then really recruit the core muscles to keep in the spine long. Left palm down, right hand onto your lower back sacrum without twisting in your hips, twisting your torso. Reach the right arm high, right finger keeps aligned with the shoulder. Deep inhale, maybe twist a little deeper, exhale. Come back to center, arms out to the side, lean more forward, really feel your core. Exhale, right palm down, left palm onto your lower back sacrum, twist without twisting in your hips. Then lift the left arm high, left finger keeps aligned with the shoulder. Deep inhale, lengthen, exhale, twist. Come back to center, reach the arms out to the side, lean forward, really strong core, exhale, slowly rise back up. Bring the hands behind your lower back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, lift up your heart, and exhale again. Lean forward, reaching forward, hips and heels in one line, and then this time bring the forehead down to the mat, and lift the fist to the ceiling. Prasarudapadakinasana C. Gently rise back up. Turn the toes out, the heels in, and reach the arms to the ceiling. Come into five-pointed star. Reach up. Now bring the hands to your heart center and bend your knees. Goddess pose. Turn the knees out to the side. Turn the toes out to the side. Place your hands onto your inner knees. Lean forward. Dip the right shoulder in. Push the right knee back. Dip the left shoulder in. Push the left, left knee back. Come back to center, tuck the tailbone under, bring the crown of the head over the sit bone as you bring the hands to your heart center. Sit down nice and deep. Your thighs could be parallel to the mat. You're actively pushing the knees out to the side, really working on the outer hip muscles. Now bring the fingers behind the ears and slowly bring the right elbow to the right knee. Back to center, then left elbow to the left knee. And back to center with the breath. Exhale, shh. Back to center, exhale, shh. Back to center, exhale, keep going with the breath, inhale, and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center, lift the arms all the way to the sky, sit down even deeper, hold it here. Deep inhale, and exhale, push into the heels, rise all the way back up, bring the hands to your heart center, and then start to shift the body all the way out to the right side, Come down all the way into a little squat here. So that may not happen for you. You want to maybe be here and have the fingers down onto the mat to start to go down into that squat. If you can come all the way down to the mat, turn the left toes up to the ceiling, hands at your heart center, push the right elbow into the right inner knee. And you can even go for a little bind here, reaching the right arm out, turning the right hand around, reaching the left hand back, and finding a little twist. A little bond. Good. Come back to center. Hands at your heart. So you can try not to use the fingers or bring the fingertips down to the mat and shift the body weight all the way over to the other side. Good. And again, this side, maybe your finger is going to stay down to the mat 
or you all the way down into this posture, then turn the right toes up to the ceiling, push the right, left elbow left into the left inner knee, hands at your heart, and then you can go into the bind here, reach the left arm far away from you, turn the thumb down, then bend the elbow, reach the right arm high, and reach it back behind your back. Good, then come back to center. With or without the hands rise, but up to center. Inhale, the arms up. Five pointed star. And then turn to the front of the mat. Step the left foot forward. Tadasana, mountain pose at the top of the mat. Inhale, lift up the arms at a baby bed. Bend goal pose the arms. Lift up your heart, or maybe separate your feet and place the hands onto your lower back for a supported back bend. Inhale, back to center. Lift the arms up, grab onto your left wrist, thumb the tailbone under, pull the belly in, and start to bring your left arm out to the right side. Keeping the shoulders stacked on top of each other, lift the chin away from the chest. Now push the hips to the left, deep inhale, keep the legs strong, exhale, pull. And come back to center, grab onto your right, right wrist with the left fingers, lift the arms up, tuck the tailbone under, pull the belly in, inhale, exhale, start to reach all the way to the left, Push the hips to the right, pull the belly in, deep inhale, and exhale. And come back to center, hands at your heart center, and fold forward all the way down. Inhale, Ardha Uttanasana, half bend it. Exhale, step back into a high plank position, pause in your high plank. Bring your forearms down to the mat. Elbows underneath the shoulders, wrists align with the elbows. Pull the belly in, tuck the tailbone under. Bring your feet together, roll to the outer arch of the right foot. Maybe turn the right fingers inward as you lift the left arm high to the sky. We'll come back to center, both elbows down onto the mat. Pause. Then bring feet together, roll all the way to the outer arch of the left foot. And reach the right arm high to the sky, side flick on the left forearm. Neck is long, breath is fluid. Belly strong. Squeeze the outer hips, lift the hips a little higher. Come down to center, forearm plank. Walk your toes in dolphin pose. Lift the hips high, lift the chest away from the mat. Soften the knees, lengthen through the spine. And bring your feet a little closer together. And start to lift the right leg up and away from the mat. See if you can make your lifted right leg straight, even if you have to bend your standing left leg. Pull the belly in, press down to the forearms. Release the right foot down to the mat. Lift the left leg up and away from the mat. Turn the left pinky toe down to the earth as you lift the left leg from the left inner thigh. Deep, slow inhale. And slowly release, exhale. Walk back into a forearm plank pose. Pull the belly in, the lats are strong. Push yourself forward, come onto your tippy toes, and exhale, push it all the way back. Push it forward, and push it back. Forward, inhale, exhale, back. Forward, inhale, exhale, back. Forward, inhale, exhale, back. Pause there, walk your toes in towards the elbows. Dolphin pose again. You're gonna hold in your dolphin, or you can also pick up one leg at a time, or you can try a little balancing in a forearm balance pose. Into my rasa. And slowly, when you're ready, with both legs, or with the balancing, walk your step, walk your walk back into a forearm plank. And release the belly, sphinx pose, elbows underneath the shoulders, reach the chest forward, hold it here, or maybe bend your back leg, starting with the right leg, reach back for your foot or ankle, gently pull it closer to the body. You can also flip around the palms if your foot is enough close to your body, and point the right elbow to the ceiling. Lift up from the left side chest, left side shoulder. Switch. Or just simply hold in your sphinx pose. Gently pull the left leg close to the body. 
And if it comes in off close, you can flip it around and push the left heel next to the left glute. Good release. Come back onto your mat. Bring the arms by your side, turn the palms down, inhale, lift up the chest. Lift up your feet, legs are straight. Lift up the palms, neck is long. Interlock the hands behind your back, hold it here. Or if you want, you can start to bend your legs and reach back for your foot or ankle. Floor roll. Kick into your palm. And slowly release. Really stretch back. Try all pose. Knees wide into the mat, big toes to touch. Forehead comes down to the mat. Coming back to that steady, slow breath in and out through the nose. Gently rise back up. Then sit down onto your mat. Bring your right leg forward. Your left foot comes into the right inner thigh. Flex the right foot. Inhale, lift up the arms. Exhale, turn over your right leg. And mat over your right leg. Slowly with each inhale, lengthen out from the spine. With each exhale, mat fold a little bit deeper. You then slowly rise back up, switch out the legs, left leg out, right leg into the left inner thigh, soften the right knee away from the body, inhale, lift up the arms, exhale, turn over the left leg and fold all the way forward, lift up the chest, inhale, exhale, mouth, fold forward, bring the forehead down to your knee, lengthen out from the spine, deep inhale, and exhale. Lift up the chest, bring the soles of the feet together, but a pranasana, let the knees to fall out to the side. Grab onto your feet, lift up the chest, inhale, and exhale. Start to lean forward, try to maintain a flat spine, deep inhale, exhale, soften the knees, lean more forward, and slowly start to tuck the chin to the chest, and let the crown of the head down to the earth. Lift up the chest, bring the legs in front of you, Grab the flash from underneath the seat, pull the belly in, inhale the arms to the ceiling, lift up, and exhale, fold, reach for your feet. Lift up the chest again, inhale, and exhale, fold, melt. Once again, inhale, lift up the chest, and exhale, bring the forehead down to your shins, melt the whole body down. Slowly lift up your chest, bend your knees, soles of the feet down onto the mat, Slowly, one word or at a time, roll back down onto the mat. Hug the knees to your chest. And come into a figure four, crossing the right ankle on top of the left knee. Interlock the hands behind your left thigh, left, left hamstring. And let the right knee fall out to the side as you flex the right foot to the right knee. Tuck the chin to the chest. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. Then switch to the other side, cross the left ankle on top of the right knee, interlock the hands behind your right hamstring, flex the left foot to the left knee, pull the belly and tuck the chin to the chest, deep inhale, and exhale, gently pull the right knee to your chest as you release the left knee away from you. And release, hug the knees back to the chest. And cross your right knee on top of the left knee. Bring your hips out to the right. Let the knees to fall over to the left. Bring your right arm into a bow pose. Deep, slow inhale. And exhale. And make your way back to center. Crossing the left knee on top of the right knee. Shifting the hips over to the left and letting the knees to fall over to the right. Bring the left arm into a goal pose. Gaze gently over the left shoulder. And then come back to center. We're going to grab a block and place the block underneath the lower back sacrum for, for um, um, 
the bridge pose. Supporting bridge pose, there we go. So I like to start with a metal height of the block that works for most bodies. But if you feel no stretch here, you can place the highest block underneath the lower back sacrum, keeping the feet hip distance apart, keeping the feet parallel. And if you wish, you can also go into an active bridge pose. You don't have to do the supported. Find the position for your lower back sacrum, the height for your hips. Then keeping the knees hip distance apart, turn the palms up to the ceiling. Just relax your lower back sacrum down into the block. If you choose to stay active, you want to do your bridge or wheel pose, do three sets. Hold each and every set for three to five, five breaths and release for one breath. If you're choosing the support, your bridge pose, maybe extend the legs forward, finding a deeper stretch in your lower back. And if you try the toe height of the block and it seems to be too intense, then you can always back off and then place the middle height of the block underneath the lower back sacrum. Beautiful. Slowly. Bring your heels back, lift up the hips away from the block, get the block from underneath the lower back sacrum, release it down to the mat. Give yourself one more squeeze, one more hug. And then gently and slowly start to stretch your legs all the way forward. Shavasana. Take rest. Separating the feet, lat distance apart. Your palms by your side, turning up to the ceiling. Adjust the shoulder blades onto your back. And gently come the chin to the chest. Start to relax every single inch of your body. Toes, fingers, palms, feet, shins, forearms, upper arm bones, thighs. Relax your hips, your belly. Relax your shoulders, the muscles on the face, your jaw, your teeth, your forehead, the temples, the temples, the crown of the head. Take one more deep, slow inhale through the nose. Open your mouth and slowly as you can, sigh it out, let it go. You can stay in your Shavasana as long as you like. If you're ready, ready to move, turn the head to the left, to the right. Moving the fingers, moving the toes, pulling out the wrists, the ankles. Inhale the arms all the way up and overhead. Exhale, pull the knees to your chest. Fall over to your right or left side. And gently press yourself up into a comfortable seat. Sitting in Sukhasana, hands at your heart. Bow in front of your heart as you tuck the chin to the chest. Take one more deep inhale through the nose. And slowly let it out as you feel your beautiful heart beating. Feel yourself being connected to yourself. Noticing the shift in the body, shift in the mind, just simply focusing on your breath for six minutes. Knowing that your breath is always there for you, always available for you, no matter how stressful the situation is. And always tap into your